Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got a couple of big targets who will try to be key contributors in both the pass and run games today. It's the Cowboys going up against the Seahawks. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 16 matchup. Seahawks, Cowboys on EA Sports getting ready now for a pivotal Week 16 matchup. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for kickoff, and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, we do. You know, when the weather gets cold and it gets this time of year, and the games, the players know it's getting near the end, and every game is important because your dreams of going to the Super Bowl, they're still there. To get there, you probably need to win this game here today. The Seahawks are back deep, waiting for the kick return. The Cowboys ready here for the kickoff. And the tackle is made right around the 26 yard line. Coming onto the field, a quarterback with a huge arm who can also beat you with the run. Common Kaepernick by way of the University of Nevada. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. will go ground, trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. That's a gain of 10. So many times you watch football games and coaches just give up too early on the run game. Well, they'll keep it going today after that run. Decent pickup by the running back. And now they'll try over again on second down. Kaepernick's lined up, two tight end set. Handoff, hey, up the middle. Picks up eight here. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Colin Kaepernick under center. Back to the ground now on first down. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Second and short. Right back to him one more time. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Well, we got the mojo flowing today, don't we? You start out the game, it's early. You pick up a couple first downs, and you think you can't be stopped. First down here after the run. Play fake. And he's taken down. Coming up, second down. They bring in the extra tight end. Keeps it on the play fake. Heaving it down the field. What a catch. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth and we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them that's how they're able to get open and make so many catches the Seahawks with the PAT to come and the point after is good the Cowboys are usually one of the best of the league in stopping opponents on their opening drive. Not the case this time. The score's 7-0. to zero. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back.
And the hands team does its job as the onside kick attempt is thwarted. And now we've got what you call the Wiley veteran at quarterback about to head onto the field for the first time today. Yeah, when you're a quarterback like this and, and you've had success, you go out in the field, you can't wait for the game to start because you veterans think only good things are going to happen to them. So they're confident and ready to go. First and ten. And off. Out of the eye. Tackled down right around the 48. Second down coming up. Set up screen. Has his target. Brought down at the 38. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The Cowboys were hoping for another easy victory like last we week, but now they trail in this one in a highly competitive game, Parker. Well, all I can say to that is we all hope for things that probably are not attainable. To think you're going to go and have back-to-back -back blowout victories in the NFL, very seldom does that happen. So hang in there. See if they can hang tough and find a way to win. Outside to the left. Chancellor is going to make the tackle. The Cowboys offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. Dropping back three. Sticks to his hands. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets the completion. And there's some tight spots, not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. One more snap, and another quarter is in the books. Gets the handle here, and he'll go. He's got the touchdown. Well, that score ties the game up. Now, on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Cowboys will be kicking off. And he's taken down right at about the 29, not quite to the 30. First down on the way. An extra tight end on the field for this one. The give off the right side. And the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. Colin Kaepernick under center. Second and one. Kaepernick with the handoff. And he is brought down at the 39. third down. They were very good at converting these situations a week ago. Third and short. Back to the ground. That'll stop the play right there. Nice job that time. The run play gets the first down. You move those chains. Hey, it's kind of fun to watch a team tough enough and patient enough to run the football to get these first downs instead of throwing it all the time. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. It's a two tight end formation. Keeps it here. Looking long. Oh, it almost picked off that time. Well, the defense has got to love that. They love it when a quarterback is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot, and the throw goes incomplete. Second down and 10. He'll keep it on the play fake. Throws the stiff arm. They bring him to the turf. Kaepernick selling this play big time. The defense, they go for the run fake, and that's why he has time to throw the football and makes the completion. Good job. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. 
This play set up by the long gainer. Kaepernick got it on the play action. Gets away from the pressure. Makes the catch in the open field. Clinton Dix there that time for the tackle. A player is down on the field, and the training staff comes out, and we'll step aside for just a moment. Daniel Bellini is working to get us an update on that injury as soon as possible. Play number six coming up on this drive. Offense lines up here. First and ten. Kaepernick's going to keep it. Has it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Seahawks. That was a sweet touchdown right there. Just a nice throw by the quarterback. He put it right on the money. The receiver makes the catch. Beautiful touchdown. Two-point The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. They won't recover the onside kick. The hands team does his job. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. The good news is this is just a minor issue, but that being said, he's going to stay on the bench for a bit longer before heading back out on the field. First down and 10. They'll run it here. Good piece of tackling. Second down coming up. They send the tight end in motion. Looking to go down the field here. Could have been intercepted. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. Here we go. Grand 38. Grand 38. Third and nine. Throws the pass. Gets it out for the completion. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Coming up at the half, it's the Verizon Halftime Report. All right, following the two-minute warning, we've got a defense trying to maintain the lead as we head towards halftime. And now he'll dip out of bounds. They face first down. Colin Kaepernick under center. Keeps it here. He makes the catch. He's brought down. And now seeing these first half numbers, we knew coming into the game it was a possibility because this is one of the better passing attacks in the entire NFL, Phil. Absolutely. It's one of the better ones in the NFL. That's how they have built this football team. 
Jim, it's about the quarterback, the wide receivers doing it through the air. And if they want to win games, that's how they have to get it done. Inside the red zone. They were very good at finishing off drives last week in this situation. That long gain sets them up here on this play. Play fake. Touchdown, Seahawks. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score and that's why they made it look so easy here nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal the Seahawks now will tack on the extra point inside of the uprights the Cowboys I'm sure wanted to avoid giving up points on that drive just before the half but now they'll have even a bigger hole to dig themselves out of in this one the scores 22 to 7 they bring him down at the 44-yard line. The Cowboys are ready to take over now, and their offense heads onto the field. The Cowboys come to the line with an empty backfield. Out of the gun. They're going to get him here for a sack. The Cowboys call a timeout. Their first, second down here. From the shotgun. And the quarterback is taken down. And the timeout is called. So we're going to take a quick break and return in just a moment. Third down after the sack. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Handoff made. The tackle is made, and that's a three-and-out series for the offense. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. He's got a chance for a return. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. The Seahawks come onto the field now for this next series. The Seahawks have it at the 24. Now on the move. Very nearly intercepted. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. Double tight end formation. Second and 10. Kaepernick keeps it. Launching it deep. What a catch. The Seahawks decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Offense getting set now, following the timeout. First down coming up. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Play action. Ball's picked up. Tackles made. He's got to stay aggressive on the defensive side. That time the defense did. Even though the offense is going in to score, they finally they come up with the big play and they get the interception inside their own 20-yard line. They come to the line and it's first down. 
the Cowboys. Pistol set here. On, let's go. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. So that's going to do it here for the first half. Seahawks are up here in this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Cowboys haven't been able to find the same rhythm they had a week ago. The Seahawks have done a good job upsetting their rhythm. That shows on the scoreboard. So let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Seahawks opening the game on offense. Kaepernick's able to squeeze the pass in here. After the long pass, he'll score. Seahawks is up now by seven. Moving to late in the first quarter. They'll go with a run here, and he'll go in from seven yards out. Cowboys tied up at seven. Now early in the second quarter, Kaepernick's got the completion here, and he'll end up at the 30-yard line before being tackled. Same drive. Here we'll get a pass into the end zone, and 14 yards later, he's going in for the score. The lead now at eight. Seahawks with the ball, eight in the half. Here the catch is made way downfield, and it's going to end up going for a gain of 57. Still a little time left on the clock. Kaepernick's going to thread the needle here. After the short pass, he'll score. The lead grows to 15. So with that, we thank you for joining us for the Verizon Halftime Report. We'll go back now to Jim and Phil for the start of the second half. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. And the hands team does his job recovering the onside kick. The Cowboys getting set now for the next series. The Cowboys will come out in the pistol. The third quarter begins with this play. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Second down and 12. He's got the catch. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. When you see zone defenses, throw it into the open spaces. That's what the quarterback did that time. Good job by the receiver running in there and making the catch. Tight end in motion. Third and seven. And he's going to be dumped. And that's a three and out. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third down, and that's, of course, that's bad. But the good thing is, he did not try to force the football down the field and get the turnover. The Seahawks offense now marches onto the field. First down at the 18. They're setting up screen. Gets away. That's a gain of only a yard. That's second down coming up. Still got it after the play action. The catch is made. That brings the play to an end. They still face third and six, even after that last successful pass play. Colin Kaepernick under center. Keeps it here. And he's going to be dropped. And that's a three and out for the offense. Well, the defense has got to be excited. Anytime on third down they make the play, uh, they get pretty fired up. But when you sack a quarterback on third down, that is one happy and emotional defense right now. That timeout might be very useful for the offense. They're now ready to go. Going for it on fourth down. Coming to the line, 
hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Play action fake, looking to throw. Down the field, nice catch. Clinton Dix in on the tackle. This quarterback leads the league in passing yards for a reason because he's not no little dink and dunker. He likes to fire it down the field. And wow, that excites the fans when they see these long completions. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Kaepernick still got it on the play action. Going for the home run. Almost intercepted that time. You gotta try to avoid this as a quarterback. Don't throw off that back foot unless you have to. When you do, there's just no way you're gonna be as good if you had good balance. That time the throw's off the mark. Second down and 10. Play fake. Going for the deep ball. But it's incomplete. Well, you must on the offensive side throw the football deep three or four times a game. That time, they're just not able to connect on the deep throw. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Keeps it on the play fake. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Two tight ends on the field here. The Seahawks from the 37 keeps it here. The reception, easy, wide open. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. Now first and ten. He'll keep it on the play fake. Touchdown, Seattle. Hard to cover these tight ends when they get into the end zone because they're fast, they're nimble, and they're big. So even if you cover them, they push off and get the touchdown catches. The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Count it. The Cowboys now have even more work to do to get back into this one. Scores 29 to 7. And the kicker's ready to go. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. He's brought to a halt. The Cowboys ready to take over the football. Let's go! One, two, five. First down at the 42. Secures it with two hands. He's got a little bit of daylight here. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. Nothing like it for a quarterback, I'll tell you that. I loved it. Throw a little short pass and just root your guy on and watch him break the tackles and score a touchdown. Pretty exciting stuff. So from two yards out, they hit it across and secure two extra points. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. are set for their next possession. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Kaepernick's got the football after the play fake. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it, you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Second and ten. Kaepernick able to fake into the line and still has it. Almost intercepted. I know we've all heard this phrase before. That's why they're playing defense, because they can't catch. Hey, 
the coaches don't care about that. When you get an opportunity, they want you to make the catch. Third down and 10. Keeps it here. Airing it out. Touchdown.